and today we are having an epic hair showdown. I've seen this hack going around on TikTok where people are saying, why spend $550 on a Dyson Airwrap when in fact, for about $10, you can get the As Seen on TV Air Curler. Yes, some people are comparing these two items. I don't see how that's humanly possible, but hey, I have them both, so let's put them to the test. Uh, so I think that the air wrap came out around two or three years ago now. And I remember when I first tried this, I don't know why, but I feel like I was not like crazy about the results, but I am influenced to test this out again today because it is like a huge thing on TikTok. Like everybody swears on this baby right here that it will just give you like the most amazing styles um, so much easier and faster than like a clipless curler or anything like that and you guys y'all probably already know my history with the dang as seen on tv air curler this was in fact my first ever does this thing really work and i'm pretty sure that was like nine or ten years ago and uh i have honestly never well, i don't know if never i don't know if we did we did do a retest like two things back to back because so many people were telling me I had done it wrong. Just wanted me to test like a bunch of different methods like putting my hair in the air curler dry, wet, damp, blah, blah, blah. Both devices want your hair to be damp. I did just freshly wash and comb my hair. So I think it is ready to go. It is tangle free. I oh rip that whole earring right out my dang ear more on that later <sighs> now my train of thought <laughs> what was it <sighs> that surprisingly like didn't hurt for the dyson they say if your hair is like freshly freshly washed and wet there is of course a hair dryer attachment for this bad boy but i don't think i need that i think it's like just the preferable amount of dampness same for the air curler they want it damp but not dry. And I did specifically read the instructions. So let's go ahead and just do like a couple pieces of hair with the air wrap because I honestly don't think it's like a question of like, does the air wrap work? Because obviously like people are just like ecstatic about it. So it's more or less like, can I competently get it to work? So I did revisit the instructions and they say, you know, to turn it on, curl your hair with it. I think they said, leave it in place. I, I read the instructions. I just don't remember them. They say to like, leave it in place, I think for 45 seconds. And then there is a cold shot. Like you turn it on, hi there. And then you crank, like you hold the button up and then the air coming out of the Dyson is cool. And so you hold it in place on the cool setting to set the curl for 10 seconds and then you just take your hair out of it. Let's go ahead and curl this piece. I have all the rest of my hair out of the way. Let's see, now I remember it like, come on now. I, oh, ooh. is it going easier already? Yeah, look at that, I'm a pro. Okay, oh, that is a little bit burning. And my eyes, they're drying. Okay, has it been 30 seconds? 40 seconds? Okay, I'm gonna cool burst it. And we're gonna see. Cool burst, give me that cool burst. Oh my God, you guys, okay. What if Starburst came out with a menti flavored Starburst and they called it Cool Burst? Think of that, Mars. Isn't that the brand that makes Starburst? Mars candy. Okay, why am I doing this now? There we go. Time for the reveal. Okay, hi, good or bad, I can't tell. Why did I like twist it all around in my hair? <gasps> um, what? <laughs> That's maybe like, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's good. It's a curl. Now, I feel like most people like do their whole head of hair with the air wrap and then, you know, like separate the curls with their fingers. So we might do that in just a minute. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and do another strand on this side with a counter, counter curl, <laughs> sand help. See, there's like arrows on the barrels because one barrel, it like sucks your hair one way and one barrel sucks your hair the other way. Maybe I should use this barrel so it curled like upwards. 
That's like a one inch strand. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is not like disrupt this curl, but I am just gonna temporarily take a little bobby pin just so um, we can see if maybe I'm not a goofball this time and I don't like twist the air wrap all around, you know? <laughs> Will it look better? Probably. So this is gonna give us a curl in the other direction. Um, okay. So, nope. Nope. <laughs> Hi. It's always like getting it started. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, it's always like getting it started. There we go. Okay. I'm also gonna like, just kind of guide it, not let it just pull the hair up itself, you know? Cause maybe that also made it less beautiful. Okay. Oh, it's like, it's, it's like cooking my eyeball. Okay. Cool burst. Get out of here. Time to reveal. Oh, ooh. Yeah, see that's a little bit smoother already. Now I, I kind of don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I have that experience with so many curling devices. Cheap, expensive, I don't know. It's like I always get like, it starts going good here and then there's like this weird section and then it's like a beautiful curl on the end. I feel like I just had another experience and it was like very much, very much like that. So there are, a couple of air wrap curls. I feel like I'm already far more impressed with these results than the ones that I got last time, but we're just gonna scoot them on over here to the side so we can test things with the air curler. And then I will like, you know, separate these out and we'll see if it can like style comparably at all. Now, I'm honestly shocked that this thing is still being manufactured, you guys. I know it was like a huge ass scene on TV thing, right? Everybody was buying them. And then you guys, like a couple years later, like I think it was like three or four years after I had initially tested it, you guys were sending me tons of pictures where it ended up at the $1.25 tree. And everybody was like buying it there because I mean, it's fun. It's a dollar for a dollar. Yeah, but now I guess it's back because when I unboxed this thing today, you guys, I got another one. I got like a newer one from Amazon and I was shocked by like, there has been some design changes to this thing. Uh, the first time that we had an air curler, can you guys see? Um, I'm pretty sure that the nozzle just could either be turned down or up. This time there's like this system of pegs and stuff in place, like grooves and notches. And um, it directionally points towards this device, like going either left or right. I'm about to do it because I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm gonna curl it one way and then flip the nozzle and see if we can get it to curl the other way. Obviously this would be awesome if we could get like anything similar, like any kind of similar results, because I'm pretty sure when I just rebought this on Amazon, it was around like 10 to $12. So obviously the price difference between something that is $500 and something that is $12, like it would be really awesome, obviously, to be able to choose the less expensive option, but I just don't think that it's gonna be anything similar. I remember this thing like just tangling the crap out of my hair. So I feel like, you know, they're trying to kind of follow the same like styling technique as the air wrap as well, where you curl it on warm and then you curl it on cool. So this dryer does have a cool button and we will be using it. So here we go, you guys. My hair is in the bucket and I'm having flashbacks. Oh my God. Now, my hair does seem to be staying in the bucket quite a bit better. Let me push the cool button. All right, 
before we take my hair out of this bucket, I didn't want to just like scream at you guys, but I am actually shocked. I feel like maybe they did change the design for the better because I remember last time my hair was constantly getting just blown out of the top of the bucket or it was always like slipping through this hole. Now I think my hair is maybe a little bit shorter now than it was when I originally tested the air curler, but still, is it a new and improved design? What the heck? I mean, yes and no. This is like way better results than we got the first time. Like, look at that. It's like the exact opposite of the Dyson experience where the top of the curl here looks pretty good, but the bottom of the curl looks like a joke. And this, I feel like the top of the curl doesn't look as good as the bottom of the curl. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, what? Okay, let's just put the bottom in there. Oh, oh, okay. She's spinning like a top. Let's see. Nope. Nope, still not good results is what I would uh, theoretically argue that we have here. I'm trying to do the thing I was telling you guys about where you like, okay. Yeah, it's like locked in place and I can't get it to unlock. Come on now. I think it's like the plastic, like, oh, oh. Okay, I don't know. This is like an unfriendly cracking. Oh. Do you hear that? Like that just don't sound good. You know what I mean? I, I don't get it. This is the same way. It just went together. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> like I can get it like almost flush, but then I can't pull it out the rest of the way. Oh, this is a sign I need to work out. And it's like fragile too. Cause I feel this thing, like I'm squeezing it and it will break. That just tells you kind of the practicality or lack thereof of this thing. I finally got it. Maybe you have to wait for it to cool in between each time. But see, I feel like that's like a little bit impractical, right? That you would have to wait. Like <laughs> I've been struggling with this probably for like seven minutes just to be able to try and curl your hair in the opposite direction. Whew. Now you guys can see it is in fact pointing the opposite way. So theoretically we should get a curl that looks different than this. Um, so I'm gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna pin this monstrosity out of our way. All right, you guys, pop this puppy in there. Now this might be a little bit more challenging. This is a longer piece, you know? This might even be longer than the first time I tried, like the original air curler. So let's see, can it handle it? I'll just leave my protective eyewear on, how about that? Nope, nope, all right. See, I got overly confident. Yeah, so I have not air curled, I've air knotted. And uh, that is not what I'm looking for today, you guys. So let's test it again. at all you guys not good at all and I feel like I am using a one inch piece of hair I feel like that's the same size of hair I was using with uh, the Dyson so what what is this you guys what is this now it does kind of make my hair look like weird and kind of piratey so I do like that but this is just I'm kind of scared how much deep conditioner am I gonna have to put on this? So yeah, I do not at all feel like the results are comparable. You know, air curler versus air wrap. I feel like maybe I need to start using the air wrap more often. Now I see people air wrap their hair, like I said, and then like separate all the curls out so that they get a more like beachy wavy look. 
I've just never really liked styling my hair like that because honestly, okay, I live in a really, really humid, swampy climate. So if I have like anything that is not like super tight ringlet curls, it's gonna look like I didn't even do anything to my hair like 40 minutes after I step outside. And also like usually when I style my hair with curls, I like to do a more like Victorian inspired look. So I just prefer like a more like ringlety look. But I will just go ahead and separate these curls out. Now this is pretty cool because it's honestly like still, it's kind of been there for a while. I didn't put any kind of spray net in my hair or anything. So yeah, I feel like um, this video has taught me. Okay, that, that, see that don't look good. That don't look good like that. I should have stopped while I was ahead. What is this now? It was cuter when I had ringlets. Anyway, you guys, if I've learned anything today, I feel like I should explore styling my hair more with the air wrap. And I feel like since I bought it and tested it out a couple of years ago, there's been lots of different attachments and lots of people like coming out with many new suggestions for like new hairstyles and things you can do with it. So I think I should revisit the air wrap. Will we revisit the air curler? Maybe one day. Now, truly I did intend to do like my whole head of hair, like half and half with the air curler and the air wrap. But you guys, like this is literally kind of crispy. Like it feels like damaged. And obviously like I can't really like separate any of the strands out or anything. I mean, it's like, it's, it's not even close. You know what I mean? Like the results are not even close. So I kind of don't want to just like expose half of the head of my head of hair uh, to this kind of damage. As usual, I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Do you have an air curler? Have you ever gotten it to work? Do you have an air wrap? And do you use it all the time? Let me know the answers to those and any other questions, any other comments in the comments down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you check the info box down below, it will link you guys to my Snapchat show where I upload a brand new episode every Monday and Thursday afternoon. And just below that, it will take you guys to my TikTok, which is TikTok at Graveyard Girl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.